My name is Elijah Stouter. I'm a junior here at Asbury University. Uh, I currently live in Carmel, Indiana. Um, I'm an officer's kid, so I've lived in several different places. Um, and I am also a Christian Ministries major. People, people say that the revival started at 10 a.m. Wednesday. I, in my opinion, it actually started at 11 because 10 a.m. every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we have a chapel service. And that was exactly what was happening on Wednesdays. We just had our chapel service. And so I was just in my seat like normal. We had our, our message. We had a, a guest, his name was Zach. I could never remember his last name, um, but we were currently in a Heart of Holiness week, um, is is what the the thing was, and so he was he was preaching on that. Um, the worship was great, like, but it just felt like a normal chapel service, and it wasn't until he gave the altar call that things started to shift and change. So they they went over time, so they dismissed everyone to leave if they wanted or for class. And I stayed after because I didn't have a class and I love praising Jesus. Um, and something about it just felt different. Like there was something in the air that was just energizing and like just different. There's not really another way to describe it. It was energizing and it was different and I loved it. And I had stayed after to pray for people if they needed it, if they were from the SASF or my hall, because I'm the chaplain of the SASF and on my hall, I am the spiritual life assistant. So I stayed after for that, but I ended up just singing praises and worshiping the whole time. And so really the way I heard about it was I was just there when it started. I mean, the easiest answer is to just say a revival. It's obviously not my own words, but it's the only way to to really say it. There is a there is a revival happening on campus. There is something different. It is drawing people into Hughes, into the chapel, and just people are on fire for the Holy Spirit. And people are coming and they're worshiping, and there I have seen every expression of every fruit of the Spirit, which I've seen before, but I've never seen it all happen in one place. So like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control, like everything. The first day that I was there, I saw this guy just walk up behind another guy, tap his shoulder when he turned around and gave him a hug and said like, I'm so sorry for anything I've ever done to you. And that was crazy. Like there's been such radical, forgiveness and prayer of enemies and prayer of friends but like the fact that people are praying for their enemies fervently like usually when we say pray for your enemies the people they'll walk away say a quick prayer and then they they check it off but like people are actually praying for anyone on their mind and it's so amazing like everyone is filled with the spirit right now I was only there from Wednesday to Saturday um, because I just felt the Lord saying to me on Saturday night that like that was my last day um, because I needed to actually leave the space, make room for others. Um, and so I just haven't been there since. But the first, first three days, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I... Uh, it was completely other focused for me. Like I felt fine. I didn't think there was anything wrong. And so I was just, I was praying for other people. I was worshiping, like doing all the things you do. I was soaking up God's presence. Like my spiritual cup, I like to say was not just overflowing, but like water falling out. <laughs> um, and then Saturday, I always take Sabbath on my Saturdays 
my Saturdays. I always take Sabbath rest on Saturdays. And I thought that meant because I, my throat was tired and I was very tired just from standing all day and using my voice to worship and pray. So I thought, okay, I'll just stay in my room and rest. And two things happened. Someone asked me to come and I felt a tugging from the Holy Spirit. So I came back and my mom had texted me the day before um, saying that I should that I should ask God for something or search out someone with a gift of prophecy or insight. Um, because while she was praying, something random that she was praying about that was from the Spirit was like, God, you've named him Jacob accordingly. My middle name is Jacob. Um, you've named him Jacob accordingly and he is wrestling with you. So I went in and I was exhausted and tired. Um, but like as soon as I entered the room, I felt energized again because Holy Spirit. But like my body was still like done. Like I was singing, but I was singing really quietly and like two octaves lower because my voice was two octaves lower. <laughs> um, and then middle of the day, I felt this tug to go forward to the altar and just pray. And so I went, I asked the people that were beside me to stand up so I could leave. Um, went up to the altar and just started praying. Um, I didn't know what I was praying for. Um, I just like was saying to God like, hey, like I feel that you called me up here. Why? <laughs> Um, like, why am I here? I have not felt anything wrong. Like, I'm exhausted. I want to rest. Why did you call me up here? Um, and I felt this hand on my back, and I thought it was one of the people that I came with, so I just kept praying. I finished my prayer feeling honestly defeated. And I turned around, and there was this random guy I'd never met before. I found out later that he was a college student from Kentucky University, so not even an Asbury student. Um, and I just looked at him and he said like, hey, I don't do this very often, which was a very common phrase at the revival. Um, but he said, I don't do this very often, but I felt this leading to pray for you. Is there anything that you need prayer for? And so I didn't no. So I just said like, well, please, please pray that God's desires become my desires because that's a good thing to pray for. Um, and he said, okay, I, the word that comes to mind when I saw you was wrestle. And I didn't start crying immediately, but I immediately was like very emotional. I was like, oh, that's cool. My middle name is Jacob. <laughs> um, he said, oh, that's cool. And then he, he prayed for me and he prayed that the Holy Spirit um, really filled me up and that God's desires become my desires. And then I went back to my seat. And as soon as I sat down, I felt like God again tugging me and saying like, no, I'm not done with you, go back up. And I was like, God, I just sat down. <laughs> like I'm, I'm tired. Um, and I just asked these people to stand back up so I could come back in and they're annoyed so I don't really want to go back out. So can you just tell me here? <laughs> like, is that okay? And then like a minute passes and I'm getting nothing. And suddenly everyone to my right, except one person, leaves. So I was like, fine. Um, <laughs> um, and then I just like, slow walked up to the front where the altar is because I was like, I don't know what's happening. So I'm just going to take my time in case if God wants to tell me before I get there. And like just before I reached the actual altar space, um, a guy on the prayer team saw me, walked up to me and was like, hey, like, are you here for prayer? And I didn't know what to say because I had no idea why I was there. So I was like, I don't think so. Like, yeah, yeah, I think so. And he was like, okay, well, 
what what would you like prayer for? And I said, just make God's desires like mine, or make God's desires my desires. And I was like, just generic answer. Um, and so I said, okay, what's your name? And I said, Elijah. And so he starts praying for me. I honestly don't remember what he started praying for. But midway through his second sentence, he said, Elijah, I feel like I have this, this message. I feel like I have this message from God to you, and it's that he is looking into your mind, and he says it is beautiful. It looks like this, this wonderful contraption of gears that are perfectly working together like a really well-designed clock, is what he said. He looks and he says, it is good. And I just started crying. <laughs> and that was it. I mean, that was it. Like, that was barely anything. But, but that was the, the message I got from God during this revival. Next, as in after the revival, I mean, it's still going at the time of this recording. I, I really hope and pray that the people that are here and the people that have experienced this have the, the courage and the strength to leave this place and like not in a malicious place of way of like get out like uh, like to to leave and and start spreading what they have seen what they have heard and like and make room for more people to experience it as well and like just spread God's word like this revival isn't just centralized to Asbury it might have started here but it's not meant to stay here like it needs to to spread. Like we've been filled with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Fire doesn't just stay in one place and burns forever, unless if it's a bush and Moses is talking to it. Like it, it will spread and it needs to spread or else it will die. So my desire is for people to, to continue to spread what they have heard, to give their testimonies like this, just to continue to spread the word to anyone in any way they can. Thank you.